Hi, I'm Ezra Dyer for Yahoo Autos. And this, I don't have to tell you what this is. Lamborghini? Lam Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Lam Lamborg Lamborghini. Oh, we need to get gas first. <laughs> That'll be an event. Let's go, Lamborghini. It's not about being comfortable, that's for sure. They get rid of the radio. The seats are shells. No cup holders, I mean, come on. Although they will put the radio back in as a no cost option if you so desire, but who needs a radio when you've got this to listen to? <laughs> oh, we're just getting warmed up. 17 gallons. I, th I think I might have gone 100 miles. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bad. Around seven miles a gallon, a little less. <laughs> I'm told it's loud from the outside. Doesn't sound that loud in here. Okay, yeah, that was pretty loud. So it can mellow out a little bit, but this car is kind of always on edge. This is certainly not your only car, so. If it's not quite as day-to-day uh, -day drivable as your 650S, then, then maybe take the McLaren to work. Save this for the weekends. You, if you had one of these, you wouldn't even have to buy a leaf blower. You could just move it around your yard and do that and uh, save yourself some money on the leaf blower. Now these tires are actually surprisingly livable. There's gonna be a few of these things in Miami and it rains there. And Pirelli P0s, not too bad, but those wheels are center locks. I'm not sure what you do with those. If you better not get a flat. I don't think AAA is gonna be dealing with that. Yeah, yeah, she ain't got no lug nuts. Yeah, I don't, I'm gonna get the chisel. 6.5 liter V12, 740 horsepower at 8,400 RPM, it screams, no turbos. Inboard push rod suspension, that's race car stuff. Seven speed, single clutch transaxle. Everything you need to go 217 miles an hour. This is the way Balboni would do it. This car seems reasonably practical. Let's go get a coffee. Good morning, how can I help you? Can I have a medium coffee with uh, milk, please? Medium coffee with milk? Yep. Now what do I do with this coffee? <laughs> it's easy to enumerate the ways in which this car is imperfect. It has a single clutch transmission when everybody's gone to dual clutches by now. It gets horrible fuel economy. It's cramped. You can't see out of it. It's relatively heavy. Last but not least, its little brother, the Harkon, will give it a pretty good run for its money speed-wise. But none of that really matters because this is the top dog Lamborghini. It's got Lambo doors. Look, we're driving around and people are jumping in for rides. That doesn't happen even with a Huracan. People recognize this for what it is. It's the ultimate bedroom poster car of your childhood dreams. When it shows up by surprise in their day-to-day -day lives, people are happy about it. People just get psyched to see this thing. That's what I love about it. They should resent this car and the person driving it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a $500,000 two-seater. There should be some serious uh, class envy going on right here. And yet, there's not. Everybody is just like, wow, that made my day, seeing that car. It makes people happy. And that's the point. For Yahoo Autos, I'm Ezra Dyer.